Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review. This movie is a sci-fi thriller from the United States, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Aaron Moorhead and Justin Benson, and this film is called Synchronic. So Synchronic is about two paramedics that are working at the beat one evening and they're called to numerous homes where people have overdosed on a new drug called Synchronic. Now not much is known about the drug but whatever it is it's having a devastating effect and so these two paramedics are their family members are actually becoming involved with this drug so the paramedics are going to go on an investigation as to what this drug is all about but the deeper they go the darker the hole gets and they start to get to the point of no return. So whether or not they can actually come out of this is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Synchronic. Aaron Moorhead and Justin Benson are one of the most fascinating directors to come out of the United States. In a world where it's all about remakes and generic, uh, generic material, directors like this really have to be encouraged. So they made a film called Spring that I thought was fantastic, body horror sort of movie, and then they made Resolution and The Endless, which are two of my favourite sort of science fiction films. I thought they were very mind-bending, at the same time creating real raw and emotional characters, and having a continuation of a story that I thought was there was a surprise around every corner. So to come into Synchronic, to say that I was excited is an understatement. I thought the trailer looked fantastic, and what was this movie going to produce? And after watching the film, I will say that the movie is impressive, but unfortunately this movie introduced a little bit of skepticism as far as I'm concerned with these directors which is something I'll go into a little bit later but what I really liked about Synchronic was the first quarter of this movie does a fantastic job at sustaining your interest straight from the get go it feels like you've been hit over the head with a sledgehammer and your eyes are being pried open and you're forced to watch what is going on and not a lot of directors can do this and again this is the reason why these directors are very very exciting because if you can pose, if you can pose enough questions straight from the start that demand answers your interest is sustained straight from the get-go. So a lot of directors, it takes a while to get into a movie, but in this film, combining it with those questions that need answering and combining that with the cinematography and the soundtrack, the movie has a really dreaded vibe. And that dreaded vibe is both absolutely fascinating and interesting, but at the same time, really, really downbeat and very scary. And so, yes, a world that you don't really associate, want to associate with, but the, the incredible script and the, those, you know, that level of mystery is there to actually make you feel as though you, want to, you don't want to be in this world, but you want to know what it's all about. And so that level of investigation is there. And so the platform of the film is absolutely fantastic is that all right, I knew that I was in for something a little bit different from the get-go so when you see the aftermath of this drug I thought well this is something that no one really deserves and I don't really want to be in this sort of situation but then the more and more it happens and the more involved these paramedics get I thought the fear factor was elevated and it was elevated because of the fact the script allows these characters to evolve in a very natural and raw way. I felt as though the chemistry with these paramedics was fantastic. There are a few side plots that come into the movie that don't, uh, that don't distract it from the progression that it wants. Their side stories are enough to really evolve these characters in a three-dimensional way. I felt as though they really loved each other, and as a result, you start to gain an emotional connection with them as well. And so that solid base in the first quarter... It, it promises a really, really good outcome, but unfortunately, after that really good start, this is where the skepticism comes in about these directors. Now, I don't know if this is a trilogy of films. Now, the reason why I say that, Resolution and The Endless, they actually intertwine with each other, and so I thought, all right, well, that was fantastic, but the reason why I was a little bit doubtful about Synchronic is that it felt like a standalone film, but it was borrowing the core ideas that those previous films have had. So it's distracting you with the really bizarre visuals and the bizarre sort of uh, idea of this drug, but there is that same sort of concept of time that they've done in other films and so that starts to become a little bit generic after that very solid foundation. So you've got, uh, this movie depicts themes of racial um, and how, we, how different races look at the past as far as race is concerned and I thought that was creative but unfortunately as I said that core heart, that core engine of this movie has been done before because constantly I was thinking I saw that in resolution, I've seen this in the endless therefore I could actually predict what was actually going to happen and so that was to me a little bit of a worry because I'm thinking well if this is not supposed to be a trilogy then maybe they're kind of reusing what they've actually done successfully in the past and I could be completely wrong as I said this could be a trilogy but I don't feel as though it is because it doesn't really connect with those other films but the reason why I'm feeling as though it is a trilogy is because it does have that engine that is present in the previous films therefore I felt as though I could play fortune teller I kind of knew what was going on therefore it kind of released that pressure valve 
And that pressure valve, I thought, it would have been so much better if this hadn't been done before because it would have maintained that level of intensity. But unfortunately, as I said, I started to become a little bit distracted saying, I've seen this before, I've seen that before, and what was this going to actually produce? And so it is another time, a movie about time and how time can shape our lives and whether or not you want to go back in the past. I'm not going to give anything away, but that time sort of concept, I thought, as I said, it felt as though this is being taken into a trilogy of films, and if it wasn't, then this is where the skepticism starts to come in. So unfortunately, it does become a little bit predictable by the end, but pushing that aside, it's still a very atmospheric film. If you haven't seen these pre the previous films, then I would recommend you go and check this one out. It is fantastically made, very, very interesting, but unfortunately, as I said, it does have that replayed sort of value where I felt as though I've seen specific set pieces before. So. That was a disappointment, but as I said, it's very interesting to look at. It's got interesting sort of concepts, and as a result of that, I'm going to recommend it. I'm going to give Synchronic three stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.